Hello, it's Professor Esther Dillard with another Keep It Simple video. This one on how to edit on your iPad or your iPhone with the Adobe Spark Video app. We're going to learn about how to do it in a short period of time, not two minutes, but a little bit more. But in those minutes that I do add, it's going to be enough detail to get you started in just a few minutes. <music> First thing you need to know before you start with the Adobe Spark video app is that you have to download it from the App Store. Once you do that, then you're going to sign up with your email. Once you've opened the Spark video application, you're going to get a page of inspirational videos. These videos have been created uh, using Adobe Spark and if you go through them, they're quite interesting and hopefully will give you some inspiration and ideas for your video. The right on the bottom says my videos. That's where all your projects, once you complete one, will be stored. The plus button in the middle is where you want to start. Plus the pl press the plus button. And then you're going to see um, create new video. You're going to either press the blue button and start with any photos that are on your iPad or iPhone. Or you will use um, story template. And you can press that and once you've pressed Tory Plant template, there are pre-made templates which have spaces and places for any of the video or pictures or text that you want to put on the screen. And it gives you kind of a guideline so that you can create your first video. Um, if you don't like that, you can go back to the, hit the back arrow in the upper left corner and then hit the plus button again and it gives you skip to editor which will give you a blank slate. You have, with the blank slate, only three screens that you choose from right now. Um, there's one which uh, is a plain slate, the credit slate, and then the call to action slate. Um, you can get rid of the credits and the call to action slate later on, but right now we have just the first one and then we're going to add to it. If you know that your video is going to be more than 30 seconds, then you're going to press that plus button to the very right and give yourself a couple more screens. Each one of these screens are worth 30 seconds um, and how you know that uh, how many seconds that it's actually giving you is there's a little timer button with uh, numbers right above the microphone if you press that you'll get a slider you push the slider and that slider will give you up to 30 seconds of space in which to put video text or photos on that screen and once you um, put each screen uh, and fill each screen up, it'll just sequentially go from one thing to the next thing to the next thing for your entire video. One thing I would advise for you, if you are creating a lot of video clips, make sure that your video clips, if that's you talking on camera, that you're speaking on camera is less than 30 seconds. It'll make it easier for you to edit and put it on each screen. It'll just go sequentially from one video to the next video. If you have um, people that you've interviewed, you're going to have to kind of edit down whatever it is that you want to use, trim it down, and then select those trimmed um, selections and put them in Adobe Spark Video. Um, this is a cloud-based application. That means that all the video that you're editing is actually uh, not on your local machine. It's not on your iPad directly. It is up in a cloud. So make sure that your video clips are short and they're less than 30 seconds so you don't have any problems. All right, let's address what's up in the upper right corner of the screen. You have layout, theme, resize, music, and share. If you select layout, this gives you options on what you're going to see on your screen. This can be full screen, that can be a full screen video, text or photo. It can mean a split screen, a caption, or a title and text, which is in the middle of the screen. How I'm going to show you is let's select the plus button in the middle. It's going to give you options of video, text, photo, and icon. Let's put text in the middle of the screen. Let's just say, welcome back to the class. All right. We can make that text bigger. We can make it smaller. Um, depending on the right and left, uh, the minus and the plus. I'm going to keep it at that size. Well, let me, yeah, let's keep it at that size. Hit done. If I don't, I want it in a different space, I hit layout and I can have split screen, 
I can have it on the left hand side. Perhaps I want it on the right hand side. There's uh, arrows in the upper middle uh, that you see near the line and that moves it over to the right hand side. Let's say if I wanted a caption, um, it would be a caption and it could include it with a photo. I'll hit the plus button. Let's see if I want to use a photo of some sort. Mm, photo. Select photo, hit my photos. And I can pick a photo um, perhaps I like. Let's put that there. Okay, so maybe we have that there. And now you can see the uh, text is at the bottom, including the photo in the image. Maybe I don't want to use that. And I can get the um, actual picture out and delete it. And now it's back to what it was originally at. Um, again, layout, let's say if we wanted a caption, we don't want caption, we want title and text that will put uh, a title in the middle and then another additional line that you can add to the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to keep it at full screen. Welcome back to the class. And I'm going to add video for my next screen. Before I add video for my next screen, I should explain uh, theme. If you select theme, it's going to give you different selections for your pictures um, and for transitions and for colors as well as for the way the uh, fonts look on your screen. If you select resize, this is something that you need to select before you do any of your text or any more video. Uh, I probably should have showed you this first. Um, select widescreen for if you are going to send it to YouTube or for a uh, widescreen format. Um, select square if you're going to put it on something like uh, Instagram or social media um, so you can have a square look for your um, layout. If you want music um, on the background, it gives you an option of royalty free music and it will put music all the way through at one level. Um, if you don't like that and you'd rather be able to play with your audio levels and playing with the music going up and down, then export it without any music at all and then um, add music in another editing program. Share, if you want to share it or ex export it, that means that uh, you want to get it out to the world. Uh, you can put it directly to Facebook, Twitter, send it in an email or even a instant message. Um, this allows you basically what Adobe Spark video does is that it is a cloud-based program so it makes a video that lives on the um, web or online and then it you basically share a link just like you would share with YouTube that's what you do for Adobe Spark video if you don't want to send it that way you can also uh, put it up on YouTube yourself and then you would have to download to save to camera roll and once that video is exported to your iPad and living in your camera videos uh, in your um, photos section, then you can upload that video directly to YouTube. So now let's add some video um, to our project. Select plus button in the middle of the screen and I'm going to select my 19 second video. Um, that video that I uh, pre-produced, I knew wanted, I wanted everything to be short so I wouldn't have problems editing. I'm going to trim it up. That's what these little um, bubbles at the bottom and the top are. It allows you to trim the video exactly to where you want it to. And I'm going to stop it right when I finish speaking and hit done. It processes the video pretty quickly, as you can see. And then if I play it... Hello, this is Professor Esther Dillard, and as you probably know... Okay, so that audio for me is a little low, so I'm gonna select the the um, speaker button that is in the upper right corner of the screen, and I'm gonna select loud so it can be a lot louder, and then I know my audio levels are gonna be at least at a level where everyone can hear it without having to boost the audio. Hello, this is Professor Esther Dillard, and as you probably know, Bloomfield College has taken steps in light of the COVID-19 crisis. This means in the next couple of weeks, you will be getting your classes online. Okay, so now I'm going to continue adding other videos that I have created. Most of my videos, as I have explained in the past uh, to other people when they use this application, is make your videos between 12 and 30 seconds. Don't make them any longer than 30 seconds or you're going to have to trim it up 
uh, in the cloud-based program. And with this cloud-based program, it will get hung up uh, trying to compensate for a very long video. So make your videos short, edit them before you put them in Adobe Spark video, and then your editing time will be a lot shorter and a lot quicker and a lot more efficient. So once you uh, put all your edit edited videos on one screen at a time in sequential order, you can also add any screens of text and pictures. I'm gonna add some text and picture right now. Select the middle button, the plus button, and I'm gonna select a photo instead. I'm gonna to go to photo and I'm going to, um, uh, it will give you, I should say, when you look up photo, it normally will give you this screen. It's going to give you my photos, which is everything that lives on my computer uh, which or my iPad, all my photos. If you um, select find free photo, it's going to give you an option to search for a photo and it'll, you can select any photo that you want. You can actually take a photo yourself right at the moment or you can select Google Drive if you've connected your Google Drive, Google Photos, Dropbox, Adobe Stock, Lightroom, Creative Cloud, Facebook even, and files that are, if you have your uh, iPad connected to your files on your computer, you can also select those. I'm gonna select Find Free Photo. I've also looked up video camera already. I hit the search button and I'm going to select a camera photo so that I can put some text over the screen. Let's pick a photo of any type. So then maybe a nice dark one so that I can add in some text on top of the screen. So this is the uh, video that I wanna use. I'm not video, but photo I wanna use. I'm gonna select the plus button in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna just say, uh, uh, will uh, videos. All right, so um, I can make that text smaller. I can make the text bigger. Um, and I'm gonna leave it in the middle of the screen. If indeed I want uh, my voiceover to go uh, over it, I can select that microphone in the middle of the screen and I will hold that microphone for as long as I speak. This is a test. Oh, it's gonna ask me for access to my microphone. Hit okay. This is a test of the microphone to make sure that it actually works and as a demo for this tutorial. So now you can see in the middle of the screen, there's a timer button and it says eight seconds. That's how long that screen is gonna last. And if I hit the play button and I have this video, this slide selected, it will play for the eight seconds. This is a test of the microphone to make sure that it actually works and as a demo for this tutorial. This is a test. Okay, so now you see you have your text and your video that you can add on your screen. You can do the very same thing if you had moving pictures in the background. You can, instead of having a still photo, you can have video and have text over the video as well. So this is the final video that was created on Adobe Spark. Hello, this is Professor Esther Dillard, and as you probably know, Bloomfield College has taken steps in light of the COVID-19 crisis. This means in the next couple of weeks, you will be getting your classes online. And it might be until the end of the semester that you'll have to do your classes online. I wanna assure you that I am trying my best to make sure that this class will be as smooth as possible and as easy for you to understand as possible. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to release some videos that will explain the details of the class, your time frame for assignments, your responsibilities, and finally, your deadlines. I'm going to encourage you to please email me or text me when you have questions in regard to the class or any of your assignments or any of the deadlines. Make sure that you communicate with me. The more we communicate, the easier this process will be and the more success you'll have with this class. Believe me, I really want to make sure that you have success for this class. I hope to see you in the next couple of weeks, actually live online um, with video chat and we'll be able to hopefully share a few stories and hear about what your experiences are during this strange and crazy time. And then also figure out what we're going to do as far as a class um, to make it through to the end of the semester.
for now. I appreciate you watching my videos. I would also appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so that you'll get updated videos as well as new ones that I post in the next couple of weeks. Thanks. Thanks.